So let's see what they go for. Fake out does come out like we anticipate. So we get a free KO and I get my weather up, which is uh, the most important thing. All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, the main event here uh, took a couple days off, but you know, we're back with some more Reg Ice gameplay. Um, oh, accident. Back with some more Reg Ice gameplay. Um, not gonna hold you guys up. Question of the day What do you prefer to play with Trick Room or Tailwind? We actually feature both in this video. Um, I think we do Trick Room first game, Tailwind second game. Let me know what you prefer to use, what's more in line with your play style, and also what do you prefer to play against? Um, otherwise, enjoy. Leave a like. We're trying to reach uh, 500. We had like 350. So shout out to the new people. Um, if you're watching this, and you're not subscribed. Click the button. We uh, have a lot of fun over here. And I'll see you guys in the first battle. Guys, we could trick room. We could shell smash. Um, <clears throat> what do I want to play against that? You know, uh, Feeny. If I lead with Dust Clops and Reg Ice, and then I bring Incineroar behind it, I bring Feeny behind it actually. Um, and then I think I get some more speed control this way. No, I, I bring the Incineroar for, for stuff like the Cinderace and the Rillaboom. And then even the Urshifu, if it's dark, um, it would be helpful to have the Incineroar. If I can get up a trick room, um, that would be ideal. I think it, I think they're going to lead Blastoise, but Blastoise cannot hit. Um, Blastoise cannot hit us, so I'm not too worried about that. Blastoise can't hit um, Reggie Ice. If they lead something like uh, like Urshifu. I can switch out. Um, I, I don't mind switching out and getting an Intimidate and taking the um, close combat. If it's not Bandit, I live 100% of the time. So they do want to stop Trick Room. That's exactly why they led what they led. <clears throat> Here's the thing though, right? Here's the thing. So because I know they want to stop Trick Room, um, I'm going to take a gamble. Because Blastoise cannot stop us. So either way we get up and we're going to live regardless. So we're going to get the trick room up, I think for sure. Or we'll just get a big damage onto that um, Nihiligo. Either way, it's fine with me. But that Blastoise is very, very useless right now. You go ahead and get yourself smash off if you want. I am not overly concerned with that. We gotta get the big piece of ice. It's summertime, baby. You gotta bring out that big piece of ice. Ice looking kind of dangerous too. It's all pointy. I can live with that. <laughs> I can, I can live with that. I can beyond live with that. Oh my goodness, I can live with that. <clears throat> yeah, so like, I do wait to turn to max, but like, I can kill that next turn. That's not really a big deal, you know? That Blastoise might have what Dark Pulse, but like, who cares about Dark Pulse? Um, now, what do they have in the back? They don't have anything that can switch in safely to a plus two Steel Spike. I don't care what it is. So, I'm just gonna take this uh, Steel Spike right into them. If they have something too, I doubt they have Protect. 
All the will they have sub and protect? No, but that Blastoise cannot hit Reggie Ice. So it is what it is, you know. It cannot hit Reggie Ice. Um, and once I put the hail up in the, the, the next turn, um, they cannot change the weather. So I can just Blizzard spam, and then I can waste the Blastoise backs and chip it down. They're probably gonna cannonade into our Dust Claps. Which I can more or less live with. <clears throat> this way I get the policy off. So I'll take another steel spike. So that's an illegal down. So we got one KO. Now, whatever they bring in next. Um, I do not care um, about it. Oh, that's going into our, uh, into our big boy. That's going into our big boy. Oh, no, it's going into Dust Clops. And Dust Clops survives, but the stupid, the cannonade is going to drop it, right? Ah, oh, that's annoying. <laughs> Shout out to Dust Clops living a plus two um, cannonade from a uh, Blastoise. We'll take that. So now, do I want to bring out the Incineroar? Ooh, you know what? Yes, I do. I absolutely want to bring out the Incineroar here. If they bring out Rillaboom, that would be awesome. If they bring out Cinderace, I won't be able to get my hail up, but I will be able to... Um, Pick up a KO and drop this Blastoise a little bit. Oh, it is Rillaboom. Okay, so if they fake us out, right? I'm not. I'm, how worried about? How worried am I about fake out here? Because <clears throat> our fake out would go first. I can't swap in Feeny here. Or can I? I think I can because they're not they're not going for Grassy Glide on Intimidate. They're not doing that. So I absolutely can swap in the Feeny and go Hailstorm right here. Because they're gonna fake out and then I'll let the Blastoise candidate into um into Incineroar. I wanted to get the party shot off, but I'm not going to be able to, because they're probably going to fake out. <laughs> Pardon the dog. Um, so let's see what they go for. Fake out does come out like we anticipate. So we get a free KO and I get my weather up, which is uh, the most important thing is getting that weather up. That weather is is a, a thousand percent what I needed to get up right now. <clears throat> wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. That did um, a lot of damage, and that the thing did a lot of damage too, the uh, candidate, but I can live with that. So let's see what they bring out now. Is that uh, in Cinderace? Okay, I feel good about beating Cinderace in the end game. <clears throat> Dazzling Gleam feels good here. Um, do I just go for the knockout on the Cinderace? So I think what I'm going to do here, I'm going to protect the, no, protecting Feeny does nothing for me. I'm just going to go for a Moonblast. Um, they might suck a punch, but it's like whatever if they do that. And we're going to get this uh, Cinderace out of here. If they protect Cinderace, 
That would be annoying, but it's not the end of the world. Okay, so it does not do sucker punch on us, which is good. That's uh, three KOs for Red Ice. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I didn't get the Omni Boost. Oh, but I get great damage off. I get great damage off. Now, if they're smart, this is the Red Ice. Because they have to assume. Yeah, they got to get this damage off. <laughs> they absolutely have to get this damage off. Yeah, they have to get rid they have to get Red Ice out of here. <laughs> but it did what it needed to do, baby. <laughs> Red Ice did what it had to do. <clears throat> so they can't fake out. We can fake out. They probably have Cannonade, Ice Beam, Shell Smash, Protect. We will survive. Um what do they have? Trick Room has one turn. So they're probably going to protect here, I'm guessing. If they have it. But I'm going to just um, not let them attack in case they don't. They don't have protect because they would have clicked it way faster than what they're doing right now. Yeah, they don't have protect. <laughs> they would have clicked it so quickly. Let's go. That's a dub. <laughs> Well played to my opponent. Nice outfit. I, I always respect Blastoise players because Blastoise don't get any love. So mu much love to them. Okay, so this feels like a wonderful Red Ice game. Um, <clears throat> this feels like a great Red Ice game to me. How do I want to play it though? I feel like it might be good to. It might be good. Do I want a trick room though? I don't know if I. Do I want to do that? Let's go with the Whimsicott and the Red Dice. Let's go with the Incineroar in the back. Um, and I feel like Tabu Fini rounds out this team very well. The fake tier support. I don't think Tailwind is going to have us outspeeding stuff. Well, we might be able to outspeed like Feeny and Grimstar. So, um, I'd, I'd give that a chance. And if they do get up Trick Room um, and they hit us with like a, a Max Flare, I should be able to intimidate that down to the point where I survive and I can hit them back with a Max Rockfall. So let's uh, see how it plays out. Don't forget question of the day. What do you prefer to play with Trick Room or Tailwind? Okay, so this seems like screens and um, or maybe fake out. Here's the thing though, right? I'm actually not worried about that that much. I'm gonna taunt. I'm just gonna max here. I'm um, gonna start getting boost. Yeah, I'm gonna start getting boost right now. I could have fake tears into the uh, Porygon, but I still can't guarantee a knockout that way. <clears throat> but even if they were to like do something like a uh, fake out in Trick Room, that's okay too. I'm not worried about that. Because I'm gonna get this defense boost. Um, and then when they do bring in the Marowak, I will get a minus one on that thing. It'll flare blitz into me. And I will then drop it to 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 the shadow realm. Okay, fake out makes sense. Yeah. Oh, oh, they played themselves. Oh, they played themselves. Oh, they played themselves. I don't get the knockout, but like you played yourself, doggy. You OD played yourself. Um, can, who can switch it to ice? Uh, their Marowak can switch in. Their Lando can't switch in. 
I'm just gonna go another steel spike. Um, I'm gonna taunt right here. Steel spike again, get another boost. Oh baby, they did not think that through. They did not think that through at all. This, I have, do I know this person? Or are they just like, because there's no way they know that I'm specially attacking with red dice, but don't know that it's clear body. So like, do I know this person? Is this like Jazz from Twitter? I'm looking at my phone because I'm gonna switch over. I wonder if this is Jazz I'm playing right now. <laughs> Actually, no, with their in game name, I don't think it's Jazz, so I don't know. So what do I have in the back to deal with that Feeny? I have my own Feeny. Um, I'm gonna Tailwind here. And I'm gonna try to get my, um, they might, are they gonna guard the Feeny? They're gonna protect it. Okay, I, I I thought that might come, so it made sense to uh, just get a tailwind up and see if I can outspeed the Feeny. I don't care. I don't know if I do, but I think I do. How much does this do to us? We can survive another one of those. Uh, can we? <laughs> so I think what I have in the back is gonna be very important. All right, I got, yeah, I gotta get rid of that Feeny. Um, I can deal with Porygon at any time. I can always fake it out so it can't trick room, so um, So I'm gonna do this and do I want a blizzard here? Or do I want a flash cannon? I think I want a flash cannon. Cause I need the damage. I guess we'll see if we go first. Oh, that does nothing. Oh my goodness, no. <laughs> That does absolutely nothing. Yeah, the, uh, what's it called? Did it, did it in there? Let me see if the taunt wore off. Cause if the taunt did not wear off, then I'm safe to, taunt did wear off, okay. So then I have to bring in the Incineroar here. I gotta get some damage. If I can get a freeze, that would be ideal. We're not doing enough damage right now. Um, now I gotta see how many turns of Tailwind I have left. This Feeny can't calm mine forever. Um, they might try to what? Trick room here? If they trick room, like I can live with that though. How many turns of hail do I have? I got one, oh, one turn of tailwind. They, the thing is, if they trick room though, I'm gonna be slower. 
I only have one turn of Tailwind. So, what I do here, I snarl because um, I don't know if they, if they protect and then the parting shot is not going to, uh, not gonna work. Yeah, so I snarl here to get some chip and some, uh, what's the word, and some uh, drops on this Porygon. So that thing is just getting nuked. Oh, do they? Okay, they recover. Ah, they recover. That's smart. That's smart. I'm not going to lie. Not going to lie. That's real smart. I'm going to... They can't protect again this turn, though. They can kind of mine, but they open themselves up to crits when you do that. Um, this is taking a long time. I'm going to snarl again. If they knock out the Incin, that's fine. Um, put a Blizzard here. I need a crit. I need some damage. They are going for the max, the max water into us. I don't know how much I like that play because we're gonna get a freeze on that Feeny. They're not gonna change the weather, which sucks. Yeah, we'll take the incendiary going down. Um, that's not a big deal. It's not a big deal to me. This will do nothing to us. Ah, it's close the time of Feeny avoids the attack. So now that I bring this thing in, right? Do I Moonblast? I don't Moonblast here. And I'll tell you why. Because they gotta have that Marowak in the back. And I can't let that thing just do whatever it wants. So getting it out in rain would be ideal for us. So I can scald here. Ancient power boosts might actually be good for us. I'm gonna go for the blizzard though, cause I need to get rid of this Porygon before it recovers again. This is definitely into the red ice. Oh, it's into the top of Feeny. It's into the top of Feeny. Them being faster is not something that I like. I expected. Oh, we'll take that. I don't know if that crit mattered in the rain because we're choice specs. I don't think it did. Ah, uh, we missed another blizzard. That's not good. That's not good at all. So here's the thing, Marowak might protect. Um, they have to go into... Um, so I'm going to do this. So if I can get, like, the, if I can get the Omni Boost, that would be so ideal. Of course they go for the friggin' Detect. Why would they protect though if um why would they do that? They they have to know who I am. They have to know who this is because there's no reason for them to go for protect there. Like you could just easily go into um a flare blitz, get some damage off. They they, they absolutely know who I am. Turns of rain, two turns. They're gonna try to calm mind up. Like, I don't care about that at all. Oh, they don't have Scald, which is good.
they shadow bone they 1000 percent know who i am because i understand flare blitz is weakened but like they went to not activate policy oh man um so i mean I, i'm gonna put this in the video because it shows like the team like the team has been like really really crushing it but sometimes the red dice can lack for damage which is why you need the fake tears or the weakness policy um to get it going for real for real um as you can see sometimes i'll struggle to do damage in this with this with this uh mon for a bit um which is why i think it, it goes a little bit by the wayside of usage but you see how long it's, it was the first mine on the field and it stayed all those turns because it's so hard to get rid of people don't even know what to hit it with you have to wait till it's out of backs it's just it's just so good um thank you guys for coming out question today trick room or tailwind i think first game we used trick room um and it worked out tailwind they did in the second turn actually no tailwind was working it's the damage that was lacking so who knows but um thank you guys for coming out um uh, let me know if you want more red dice i'm gonna start building some other teams as well um so i'll see you guys in the next video